Hi, I'm Katrina, your Pilates teacher at Kane Pilates. Welcome to another Pilates session. Today we will work a bit more on the back and upper body strength and we'll sprinkle a few plank variations into today's workout as well. So let's begin. We will start in all fours. So bring your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. And then breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, two round. Breathe in to send the heart forward, shoulders away from the ears. Breathe out. And then one more. And then find your neutral spine and pelvis. Push up in between the shoulder blades. Yeah, remember if at any point your wrists get too tired, you need to come out of this, please feel free to do that at any point. Also, working in all fours, if your knees are happier with the toes tucked under, please do that. Good, and then we come into our lateral arm raises. So breathe in to prepare, breathe out. Take one arm to the side, breathe and place the hand back underneath your shoulder, breathe out to lift. So here you want to have the navel drawn up just a teeny tiny bit, a slight connection, and then breathe into your rib cage using your lateral breath. So not breathing into the belly, breathe into the ribs, keeping that connection to your center throughout the exercise. Yeah. Good, so you breathe out. Breathe into the ribs to return. And then really focus on that supporting arm and shoulder. Not so much on the moving one, so much more about what is supporting you here. So if you've been doing a few of these and you still find them quite easy, might be the case, you bring the hands a bit further forward to the body again, further forward so the shoulders are over the hands and then you continue here. A little bit more challenging. So you can play with that if you want to. But this is just the beginning, so pace yourself, <laughs> especially if you're not used to doing any upper body strength work. Yeah. One more just to even out right and left. We'll come into kneeling, giving the wrists a bit of a chill, take the weight off the wrists. Yeah, do this whenever you need to in between as well. Good. We'll then go into our box plank. I'll hold it there for about 10 breaths, but really focus on your own breathing. Yeah, don't really worry too much about how long you're there, but really focus again on breathing into the ribcage and keeping the navel drawn in a little bit for that support. So coming back into all fours, make sure to push up in between the shoulder blades, not rounding the back. Yeah, just finding that long spine, pushing up in between the shoulder blades, connecting the um, rib cage to the shoulder blades there. Then we tuck the toes under, breathe in to prepare. Breathe out to float up, and then focus on your breath, about 10 of these. Once you've done those, just come back into child's pose, into rest position. So again, as always, find a really comfortable version of this. And if you don't like child's pose, do something else. Remember to breathe deeply here. You want to relax the belly down, breathe into your belly, going into your diaphragmatic breathing. Relaxing everything, your shoulders, your abs, your hips. Good. 
Good. One more breath. Good. And then we come into Nella press-ups. And as always, you can do other, another press-up variation if you prefer. Um, so we come back into all fours. Here we have the hands a bit further forwards and then the body a bit further forward. So we come into our half plank. And of course, you can do full plank if you want to. Yeah. Remember not to let the body sink down. So again, connect your rib cage into your shoulder blades. Shoulders away from the ears. We we'll just do five of these, but five really good ones. Hugging the elbows in, breathing on the way down. Out on the way up. One. Two. Three. Four. So you want to draw the navel up as you push yourself away. And five. Good. Again, just take the weight off the wrists. Maybe take the hands back. Stretch the chest. Breathe in and out. Good. And then we come into the extended plank. Yeah. So if you were so really tired, you can come into the elbow plank. We will do that later on though, but you can obviously go into a different version. So coming back into all fours, make sure if you're on a mat that you have enough space behind you to extend the legs and still have your toes on the mat. So from here, useful, make sure you have space behind you so you don't, um, you, you sort of have that grip. Yeah. So again, up to 10 breaths. Yeah, again, focus on your own breathing, your lateral breath here. Extend one leg away, keep the neck long, extend the other leg, draw the navel in, push back into the heels, have the legs really strong, draw the navel up a bit, and then focus on your lateral breath. Lower one knee down, then the other. Again, 12. Maybe extend one arm for your wrist mobilization. It's quite nice. Same on the other side. One, two, and three. We then go into that prep. So come onto your front, into prone, have your cushion. And you just want to have your cushion high enough to rest your forehead on it to make space for your nose. If you've done the Get Started with Pilates series, you know this already. If this is new, have a look first to get an idea of the exercise. We start with the feet as wide as the mat or a bit wider than hip width if you don't have a mat. Um, again, relax the head onto the floor. And then have your arms beside, palms up. Breathe in to lift yourself up. Rotate the arms, palms facing in, and then breathe out to lower it down and relax. Lift up, lengthen the spine, keep the neck long. So we're not looking forward unless you come that high up. You want to keep the neck a little bit more long. The feet stay on the floor, so having the feet a bit wider really helps with that. Yeah. Good. Draw the navel up just a tiny bit, a small connection here. Just a few more. Stop and rest if you need to. Last one of these. 
and then relax down. Good. From here we come into our swimming variation. Yeah. So the feet come into hip width. We lift the legs up and move them a bit faster. If that's not quite happening, yeah, you can go into your single leg lift. Your leg lifts one instead. Yeah, that's a nice variation to go into. Or you lift both legs and move them quite a little bit faster. Don't go too wild on these. Yeah. We come back into those back extensions to add to the leg lifts. Breathe in to lift and out to lower. So the legs just keep going and then the body lifts up and relaxes back down. Lengthen through the legs, don't kick through the knees, we lengthen away. Again, keeping the neck long. Let's do three more of these. Last one, and relax. So here you might just want to wiggle the bum from side to side, release the lower back a bit, and we will come into our elbow plank. Yeah, again, different options here. So you come onto your elbow, half your elbows right underneath your shoulders. If you go into the half plank, we just lift the hips, we keep the knees on the floor. If you go into your full plank, you tuck the toes under, make sure the hip width, and now we'll come into the extended version. Yeah, I'll demonstrate the half plank just for today, but um, feel free to go into the full version, pushing back into the heels. Yeah, good. So again, up to 10 breaths here, breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, draw the navel up, push up in between the shoulder blades, and then stay here. Focus on your lateral breath, breathing into the rib cage, not into the belly. Every now and then, just make sure to keep the neck supported. Push up in between the shoulder blades. Relax the fingertips. One more. Good. And lower down. Use your arms and your center. Push yourself away back into child pose, rest position, or any other stretch you might feel like doing. And just stay there for a few nice deep breaths. Here we go into the belly breathing again, the diaphragmatic breathing. One more nice deep breath in and out. Good. Come into sitting. We come into our side bend prep. So again, if you've done this before, you will know whether you need a cushion or not. So if the elbow isn't so happy, just on the mat, have a cushion just for a bit more support. Um, if your elbow doesn't need that, then that's fine as well. Just make sure your elbow is right underneath your shoulder. Your hips are stacked, so one knee is right on top of the other. The feet are in line with the tailbone, the spine nice and long, lifting out of the shoulder. Yeah. So very often the elbow is just far too far out there to start with. So make sure that elbow is underneath the shoulder. Relax this hand. Breathe into your rib cage. Breathe out, draw the navel in, float up. Breathe into your rib cage. And breathe out to lower down. Really resist lowering the heels down, lifting out of that shoulder. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. 
keep the spine really long. Good. And as I said before, you might find that the pelvis wants to tilt forwards on the way up. Try not to do that. And then especially on the way down, the pelvis wants to tilt back. We're sort of relaxing into this. You can try to keep the hips stacked. Good. Last few. Two more. Good. And the next one. If you want to, stay up here. Reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Lift out of that shoulder. Draw the navel in a little bit, just as much as you need to. Yeah. Breathe into the ribs. One more breath. Have a happy thought. And then lower down. And we come over onto the other side. Same thing. So about, around about eight of those. Again, with or without that cushion for support. Stack the hips. Lengthen the spine, lift out of that shoulder. And you might find one side is a bit stronger than the other. Yeah. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, float up. Breathe into the ribs. Breathe out, slowly and controlled, lower down, lifting out of that shoulder. Remember to keep the hips stacked. And as a variation, if you find these are getting easier, you can, on the way down, just about hover. So you're not actually relaxing all the way down onto the floor. You sort of hover before you go back up. Yeah, that's sort of a good way to pro progress towards the full version. Yeah. There's always another version. Okay, we're nearly there. Keep lifting out of that shoulder. Keep the navel drawn in a bit. There's always, I think, a lost track. I think we have one more. So stay up here. Good. Lengthen the spine. Breathe into your ribs. Smile. Have a happy thought. One more breath. And then slowly lower down. Good, fabulous. We'll come into sitting. <sighs> just a few. A bit of mobilizing, a bit of stretching just to finish up. So breathe in and out. There's always remember to push that hip down to counter stretch. Relax the shoulder away from the ear. Breathe in here. Breathe out to return. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out. Again, counter stretch. So this hip pushes down and this shoulder relaxes down. Let's do that one more time each side. Breathe in. Your arm is an extension of your spine. So you just let that really stretch towards the, sort of the top corner of the room rather than towards the wall. If you do have that range of movement, great. But we're not creating this sort of little um, roof between <laughs> a nice long arc. Excellent. Just place your fingertips onto your shoulders. Just rotations, a few of these. Breathe in. Breathe out, rotate. Look over your shoulder. Breathe into your ribs. Breathe out, do the navel in a bit. Breathe in. And out. Relax the shoulders down. So just see if you can have the fingertips on the shoulders very lightly. Not having your shoulders up there. <laughs> Let's do one more of those. Even out right and left, ideally. And release. Bring the hands together, whether you just hold the hands together or interlock the fingers, up to you. And around the back, tilt the pelvis if your tailbone is happy with that. Look at your belly button. Good. 
breathe and stretch up, look up at the ceiling. Send the heart forward, point the nose up if you're like a sharpie with that. Extend the arms out as far as they will reach. Relax the arms down, give the shoulders a bit of a twirl. Take one arm across for a gentle shoulder stretch. So whether the arm needs to be up, down or somewhere in the middle, see where you feel the stretch the most. We're just gonna get into this part here, really gently. Breathe in, and then out, get to the other side. And release, and we're done.